Guys, tomorrow we need a new consignment. I'm not on our side. And I honestly really suspect him. It's okay, my Tomah. Would you come? I still plan to bring in more drugs. This is completely out of hand. Even I Alini had to give her home. And he thinks I don't know about it. The worst mistake was for him to stab me behind my back. I must do something. And do it quick. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, boys. How are you? Very fine. Yeah, very so, yeah. Stephen here has some information which he has shared with me, and he also has to share with you. It's very confidential. Sir. Yes, Stephen. Ah, uh, sir. Gerard has a phone in school. Uh, this phone is located at the edge of his box. Sir. He uses this phone to smuggle drugs into school. It is not This Gerard. Is Gerard from four oh. The same general you are suspended? Yes. Last time? Yes. Yeah. It's becoming notorious. Mm -hmm. Sir, please, I just, don't, don't mention my name in this stuff. I just want to make it clear. Okay. Yes, it's okay, it's okay, Stephen. Any information we receive, we put it in confidence, huh? Yes, yes. Don't you uh, worry about that. In just a minute, eh? Yeah? Hello, Mr. Sige. I have information from some boys here that there is a student by the name Gerard who has a phone in school. I want us to swing into action very fast so that we can attain this drug menace in the school because I understand he's using the phone to ask for drugs from outside the school. Uh, can you ask Mr. Martin to join us, please? Okay, all right. Uh, Thank you boys for that. Uh, let's meet later.
videos. We have uh, the uh, video and the uh, We have sections. Uh, something else is video director. And uh, so, Who's bringing phones to school? Huh? General, we know you have phones in this school. Huh? So stop wasting your time and give us those phones. General, open them. the box. Don't waste our time. Money, we don't have any phone. You can say. Okay, fine. Okay, shit. <laughs> General, I thought you said you didn't have a phone. What is that? Is this a marble? How did it appear in the box? Hmm? Well, Malim, this boy is wasting our time. I think yeah, this boy Malim, is not I can explain. I can explain. We meet tomorrow at the principal's office at 8 a.m. No just stories. let me explain. Eight. A.m. This must be a mistake, Malim. Mistake, Malim. Mistake. Oh. The box could not be behind. Oh. It has only my... The phone was taken earlier when we did this. And he knew exactly where it was. Oh, that spells doom for us. The phone has everything. The principal has told me to see him at 8 a.m. Guys, I'm done. Uh, guys, me not suspect you, John. It can't be coincidence. Him going to the deputy principal's office earlier. What are you guys talking about? Hivyo hivyo tu ndo utaendea mafuta ya kutoa mafuta yake. Unasikia? Na hakuna cha tafadhali hapa. Leo by 9 prep zikiisha. Mafuta iko imefika. Unasikia? Ama tukuseti sababu ulichukua lapi ya depa. Messi ya city anywhere. Nilitoka group ro safi na nijua personal issues. Wewe. Messi si ni chose. Trust me. Take you where? Kuna sauti no pia. Kike. Na itaki pia. Mafuta.
Now, what am I going to do? I saw to walk out of this life. I saw on my mother's grave, never to involve myself in such acts. But I'm right now, Tom. Between doing it or getting exposed, what options do I really have? What's wrong, Diana? Please, just give me ten minutes of your time, sir. <clears throat> okay, just get in. And have a seat. And make it quick. My friends and I have been peddling drugs in school. Since I was in Form 1, I started taking drugs after I learned from my father, who has also been taking smoking bang, cigarettes, and drinking alcohol. We have been using the canteen guy who brings the drugs to school and who sell it to our fellow students. What are you telling me? Let me finish, sir. Six months ago, when you called me to your office, and I left I hid in the toilet and after you left, I managed to steal your laptop. No one ever knew it was me. Are you sure? Young man? Yes, sir. And three months ago, my father killed my mother after taking an overdose of cocaine and tried to make it look like it was an accident and he then told me that if i'm going to tell anyone about it he's going to kill me and so sir i'm also here to confess that my friends have sent me patrol and they want to burn down the deputy principal's office and why? I had two options. To go get the petrol which I was on my way to and come here. And so I decided to do the right thing for my mother's memories. This is a right thing. You have done. Now this is what you are going to do. Take those jerry cans you have and fill them with water. Then, go where you will be meeting immediately, you give them. We shall be right behind you. Okay, sir.